today we have a commentary for you guys. Um, I think it's a good one. We have a game against Orbital. Some say the guy can't be beat, but he's an open cover. Um, who knows? He might close the gap. So we'll see how he plays. Um, let's get in here. Of course, it's Boo beating him because everyone plays on Alts these days. Nobody wants to play on their main. Um, yeah, I think this is actually one hell of a chess match. And I think you guys will enjoy it, especially around the mid game. Um, it's always fun to play against an opponent of this caliber who's not that many. Um, so yeah, I think it'll be a treat. But anyways, get the first turn flash. And we're running the exact same book here, actually. So we're both running all these spells. Our books are mimic. Only thing is I had first turn. Um, I don't think it makes that big of a deal. But, you know, I'll let you guys decide. I definitely probably had momentum going, uh, starting off, which is nice. So, he doesn't know I'm running the same book as him. Um, and I like to usually position myself to like get rid of the boss from the pass early on from them. He doesn't have flight here. So that flash was risky. If he did have flight, and he was able to go right under me, I think it would have worked. But when you don't have flight like that, it's risky. You know, all you need is like one pixel here. So he got really unlucky there. Um, here I could shot bomb him. I could just go for the big damage really, but I don't think I'll be able to close on that necessarily. So I just will like to keep him trapped and try to set myself up. So here is interesting because I don't have flight and I have no way to get here. The reason I didn't stand here um, and then treat him was because I didn't want to get trapped by his Pegasus, you know, if he summoned one. Because if he summoned one and then I'd have to like summon another, but he didn't keep me trapped, it's just a pain. So I wanted to not position myself there. Um, Instead, I get the Peggy out. I position it right above me here so he can't necessarily train me easily. Because if I put it like right here, he could train me. Um, and that would be pretty bad for me. So that's what I like to do. It's nice because I have Shock Shield, so I can just get rid of his Swarm without wasting a turn. Um, yeah. He makes me lug my ass all the way over to the left, basically trying to like waste my time. So I have less time to make a more optimal play, which is a good strategy in 60 Razzy. You wanna, you know, as much as you can, you wanna shorten the time someone has for the next play. Um, I don't think it matters too much, you know, unless you have to make a lot of mechanical moves. But here I had Ice Shield, thank God. And I was able to, Keep the Pegasus heat trap summoned, um, and I just pulled out a protection shield because I was running out of time. Um, so now he's worried about DK, right? We got like turn six coming. He's worried about DK. He pulls out the shock shield. Really, against shock shield, you want to, if you can, just try to like set up more and keep them trapped, just to kind of like wait it out as much as you can. Not always possible, but when possible. I don't know if he already used two boss in the past. I don't think he'll like try to boss in the past and like, go up and kill it. So he likes to save those. Um, and now the game gets interesting. Now it's like, do I want to chip his Pegasus? And in doing so, um, I can kind of wear that down, but it's trapped. So I just would like to go for him, uh, or his tower rather. And if he wants to go for like the swarm or something, he has to use another boss from the past. So he likes to summon a storm spirit. Here I could try some like shock bomb maneuvers. Like I could shock bomb his Pegasus, get rid of it. Um, but that would free him and then allow him to kill my swarm and maybe like rebase. So I'd rather keep his Pegasus trapped because the Pegasus trapped isn't that much of a threat to me. Um, 
it's more of a liability to him. Especially if I can ship it low enough where a shop shield or sworn can, you know, take it or kill it. Um, let's see. So here is like a bit risky just hitting him with that tower because he might be able to maneuver his um, storm spirit out and use a shop shield to kill it. So that was like that's always a bit risky. Um, and he's able to, you know, get past me uh, and kill my swarm off, which puts him in a nicer spot. But in doing so, now he's vulnerable because I have a DK out. I'm thinking he just trees here um, and just tries to set up some stall for himself. So now at this point, I don't want him to stall too much. So I, I, at first I was thinking, okay, maybe I should go for the Peggy, but no, it's trapped. If I do want to pebble him, hitting the tree with the shock shield first can basically make your pebble go farther. Put the Pegasus there to like regain map control in case he wants to try to like go left. I don't know if that quite traps him. I know it doesn't trap his storm spirit. Fortunately for me, it doesn't create a hole big enough where he can like hit me with his shock shield. So wearing those down as much as you can is pretty nice, especially when when you're playing someone and they are, you know, trying to stall and they have shock shield up. You have to spend a turn to like shock shield. So if you can do so, it's nice. Here I like the pebble again. I don't know if these are like great pebbles or anything, but thankfully it doesn't like allow an opportunity to like really, you know, move out. Um, so I like to just kill his minions, you know, against good players like this, you really need to minimize the number of moves they can make. The more moves they can make, the more opportunity you give them to come back, right? So you want to keep your DK as a threat. Um, and there's something interesting here. He summons a swarm, and I'm just like, okay, I'll have a DK that can fit in there. And I know I can probably chip him for a decent amount of damage. And that's probably what he's hoping. Um, he's probably hoping that, hey... He gets his DK stuck down here, and then it's not as much of a threat to me. Um, I do a bad job trapping the the hole of my Pegasus, but I kill the Swarm and his DK. And then um, on top of that, he's trapped. So he would have to use another toss in the past, which is really good for me. Um, so I don't think he wants to do that. I don't know if he, I don't think he's even as flight to get out, so he just selects to teleport, which is fine. Um, the move here, instead of trying to like shot bomb or something, you definitely want to go in and like, you always want to have the minion advantage, you know, in these situations. Um, he frees his Pegasus, which is nice for him. I choose to chip it, just so, um, so I can potentially steal it later. And now I'm just thinking, okay, I need to free my DK, right? <laughs> I was thinking maybe I could ladder right up because I have a swarm. So in theory, you could ladder a, sw uh, a dark knight up, but in practice, you don't have enough time. You know, that takes a long time to ladder something and just move your minions across. So like, if you do want to do something like that, you really have to position beforehand. Um, and I kind of just realized, hey, I don't, I won't have the time to do anything. Um, so instead, I was like, okay, let me just go in and shock shield. Let me hit them both so that, you know, next turn, I could, like, blast from the pass and then uh, steal that Pegasus. And basically, against really good players, you want to, as much as you can, you want them to have, like, multiple threats that they have to contend with. Um, so here he has to contend with a 
under Pegasus. He, I basically use my, my Pegasus to absorb his shaft shield, and I make him make multiple decisions. So he can kill the swarm, right? Um, I still have shaft shield and the under Pegasus. He could kill the Pegasus, but then this Pegasus can get this DK, and you know I can put, bring a DK over, and now it's like he's really stuck, right? Um, so killing either of these two does not make sense, right? Um, he's worried about this. I just freed up this land, so now this Pegasus can get this DK. So the optimal move is not to kill either one of these. These are just bait that I put for him. The optimal move is to like try to tree or Pegasus here, um, and basically try to stall out there. The only thing is now he has a swarm and an undead Pegasus that if he doesn't kill this turn, he'll have to spend like two turns killing. And that's what he does. So he summons the Pegasus. He knows killing either of these is not going to do anything for him. You want to keep the and that's weird that it moved like that. I guess maybe he moved. You want to keep the um, try to keep the Pegasus on the on the guy to like summon the shock shield hits. Um, I make a move here, and this potentially like might have threw the game in some ways. He just plays really well. He plays really optimally. Um, I try to keep his Pegasus trapped like this, and then just pebble it. That way I can potentially steal it next turn. Um, and now I'm going to put him in a rough spot because he has one boss from the boss left, right? He has a swarm he has to care about. He has his Pegasus that's going to go undead. He has to worry about, right? So, like, what the hell does he do? Um, so he uses his last boss from the past. And the thing is... I actually didn't realize that at the time I am sinkable. But I think getting sunk here is not the end of the world. Because um, you take out a flight, you take out a boss from the past. Um, the only thing is... Yeah. So he's able to sink me back. Right. And this is a point where in the game where now you're like, hey... He still has his DK. This could go either way. Um, and he's played really well. Like he made some really optimal moves to get there. He knows that if he tries to fly over and swarm or shot shield this, you know, there's an aura, so he's gonna get hit. So he goes for the DK. I'm thinking he just shock shields the DK, like maybe he could put his peg here, right? Block it off, but then I can steal it. Um so he doesn't go for that. And that's the thing. There's like multiple threats. So he's like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to trap trap this guy off. And then at this point, I'm thinking, okay, maybe he just has a shock shield. But I think maybe he's like, okay, I want to get my minions up. Maybe I want to steal this DK and not just kill it. Which is fair, right? So here is a, is a pretty critical juncture of the game. Um... I actually messed up that last one in the past. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not big enough to fit through it myself. I think you are if you go from this side, but not from going down. But maybe if I deflight, right? So I probably should have like boss from the past here or something. Um, I'm able to take out his flight, which is important. He can't get back up. But uh, I mess up here, where essentially, if you take a look, I block this pathway off a little bit. Um, but I really want this swarm, so I w was not able to, like, hit it right here, where I was able to, like, hit the swarm and the peg and kill them both, so the peg lived, which is really unfortunate, um, and then he's able to just walk up here and kill my swarm. Now, I don't have a, I, he doesn't have any more boss from the past, so I don't have to worry about, like, getting deflated and sunk. Um, and I think he's thinking, okay, well, I really want to steal this DK now at this point. Um, which is, you know, a good move. Now here, I'm just thinking, okay, there's a few things I need to do. I have this DK up. I could drain the Pegasus, but, you know, 
I don't think that's a great move. You might even self hit. Then I really want to like open this land up, right? And kill the Pegasus at the same time. Um, so what I opt to do is move the Peggies, you know, to kind of like cover the land a little bit. Um, make sure I'm not in like R range for those Pegasus and then just use a pebble shot. And I was hoping I could get, um, get a good, if I, I could kill those Pegasus here and I don't do that, right? Um, if I were to kill the Pegasus, you know, he, he'd be really stuck, right? But I don't get that. So at this point, the game could still go either way. Red turn 20, um, and he still has DK. So I've made like a few suboptimal moves, um, you know, and I am concerned about my DK getting stolen here. So we'll see how the game progresses and what I needed to do to win. Um, so, you know, he drains me, he kills my Pegasus, he gets more health, he gets a double drain off, he has an HP advantage now, my DK stuck, what the hell am I supposed to do? Um, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to make a bit of a risk. I'm going to stand here, I'm going to hope that he can't flash me off. Like, if he tries to flash like this, I'm going to hit here. Um, if he tries to flash me like from the side, I'm gonna hit this. That's my hope. Like he messes that up. Um, but you know, this is orbital we're talking about. He's not gonna mess up that flash. So he gets the flash off, right? Um, and now I am at 92 health. One shock bomb stick will do 80 damage. Okay, so it's like I'm pretty low. Um, I just use my shock shield. Right. So he could go here, he could like shock shield or something. Um, and kill the DK, which is what he does. Right. So I I see that okay, he just used flight, right? He just used flight, so if I were to train him at this point he can't get back up, right? Um maybe I could have positioned it a little higher so he couldn't jump like that, but yeah. You see some micro moves, you're not always going to get right. And I think that's what makes the game more human. Um, so he goes in, summons the Pegasus. He's probably thinking, okay, you know, I can jump through and the ice shield basically saves me from being sunk. So it's a good move by him. Um, you know, you guys are looking at this game like, okay, you lost your DK, he still has his DK. It's kind of rough, you know. Uh, how are you going to win this? <sighs> don't don't underestimate Majin Buu. He is something else. Okay. So at this point, he gets a swarm off. And remember, minions are everything. Uh, the more minions you have, the you know, more the greater your possible sets of moves are. So I know he doesn't have boss from the past, um, which is nice for me. I want to keep this Peggy like as low as possible to keep map pressure on his Pegasus and himself. Um, I'm not too worried about the Shock Shield unless he can get free. Now, he summons the Dark Knight and it's kind of like looking rough here, right? Like, what the hell do I do? Um, and now he kind of have to make some, you know, potentially risky plays. So here I like the Shock Shield. I'm basically thinking, okay, he's gonna have to hit his Pegasus on me here, right? And then his DK is gonna have to mount that Pegasus and then charge through me, and that might fail. Like oftentimes it can pretty much fail. Um, that's my hope. So at this point I could lose, you know, if he gets that working. Um, in the worst case scenario, he's gonna charge, he's not gonna kill me. He's gonna have some weird interaction and he loses his DK and his Pegasus, right? Um, and I still have my zombie peg. Um, I'll be really low though, potentially, who knows, but that mechanic is not like a guaranteed one. Um, so that's what he does actually. He chooses to mount and then he chooses to just flash me, um, which is fine. So here, this is where I was able to really, you know, pull off those, uh, mechanical plays. Um, 
I really had no better move because yes, I could move out of here, right? But that gives them time to like summon another Pegasus, summon a swarm, um, flight protection shield. I'm just like, okay, I already lost my DK. What do I do? Like this is the best move I possibly have. Um, so I take another 25 because he flew and hit me. Shock bomb got nerfed. Um, but the good thing is now he's like in kill range from a shock bomb. But I can't quite, like one thing I could potentially look at doing is flying over here and like stuffing a shock bomb, right? Like right here. And then hoping it does at least 79. But it's not, if it was more like 60 HP, I'd do it, but not at 79. So I'm like, okay, his DK is not a threat to me. He just got out of the swarm. He doesn't have boss on the pass or anything. What he does is, I think he wanted to like, I don't know if he got it stuck on purpose, but I think he wanted to get it sunk. I think he just moved left accidentally. Um, but I think he's like, okay, well, I don't want him to get this DK because if he does, that's like another threat to me. All right. Um, you know, this is like also the big power of Ice Shield Pegasus, right? It's like, it's so good for trapping. I usually never take Pegasus, but you know, I'm having second thoughts now. It's actually a really good minion. Um, yeah, I never end up using my tower this game, but uh, I think Pegasus is not bad for like moves like this, you know? Keep the Pegasus here. You know he doesn't have one. Keep the aura hitting him, right? Um, and I chipped away his DK pay 15. Now my shock shield and swarm can steal it. So he can tree me here. That's probably not smart because I could just TP out. Um, so he likes to just make room for himself. And my thinking is, okay, uh, again, you want to introduce as many threats as you can onto the map. I don't have the time to like shock shield the DK, aura the DK, move my Pegasus over, get the DK, move it back. I don't have the time. So the best thing you can do is just shock shield them. Um, the protection shield is good because it's going to allow me to, you know, pebble shot them and like go for, go for the win. Um, I can move my Pegasus to the left because I don't want him to move to the left and tree potentially, um, and stall out the game further, right? So I got the pebble shot off there. Um, it was a good pebble shot. And uh, now <clears throat> I'm in a really good spot. One thing I will say is if he tries to go to the right, well, there's a swarm here and there's a DK. Um, so he has to be careful like going to the right on the map um if going to the left he can do so uh and he does a really good play actually here he just ice shields himself he uses flight to get out so he has no fight he uses ice shield and in hindsight maybe if i move the pegasus just a little bit so it covers um this hole but not all the way down um i wouldn't be like like the ice shield might not have worked essentially, right? Um, so that's like a, a micro mechanical play uh, that is important to keep in mind. Now I figure out, hey, I can't move this DK around either, right? So the DK is not really gonna do much for me unless I can move my Pegasus through. Um, and I like to just pretty much keep pressure onto him. Um, I could have public shot it here, right? He didn't have a, he didn't have flight. He did have tree though. So if I pebble shot at him and it didn't like knock him off, then he does have tree. Um, and then he could also tree my Pegasus. And now it's like kind of hard, right? How do I get through here? Um, so I actually failed here. I wasn't able to move that uh, through the shield. So that was a total like fail. Um, 
Now here yeah. I want a pedal, but I want to get the tree to be as low as possible. I think it has like 75 HP. So if you were to, you know, get it down a little bit, then the pebble shot you do make has more, uh, can go further. Um, I actually like I stayed in the aura. Um, I think I ran out of time. Yeah, so I actually stayed in the aura there. But fortunately, we got the sunk off and he resigned. And you know that was a tough game, especially like he almost came back a couple times. Um, but you know we pulled through. Thanks for watching.